think and throw. We are throwing waste as we like. We produce a lot of waste. What do we do with the waste? Just we throw it off. But here the thing is, think and throw. What to be thought? What we should think? We should think that before we throw the waste, can we make use of the waste again, which is called as reuse. Reuse. Many of the materials, we can reuse them. Right? Say for example, you have purchased something in a bottle. You used that item, now the empty bottle is left. Instead of throwing this empty bottle in the trash bin, you can use the empty bottle for some other purpose. Or you can make a beautiful decorative item with the waste bottle. So that's where you show your creativity. Right? So many people, they do not spend any time or their ideas or creativity in doing such things. Simply they throw it away. And moreover, in the sake of their creativity, they create lot of trash. You see some children, they are making fun with papers. They tear papers from the books and they make so many things. They make paper plane, they make uh, origami, different animals and different shapes with the paper. So that is the having fun with paper. It's okay, it's allowed as creativity. But just on the name of creativity, you cannot produce the waste. You cannot produce the dust and trash. Instead, you can use your creativity to make the waste into some art forms. You might have seen people making recycled paper and from the bits of waste newspaper, it can be made into a pulp and you can make a handmade paper. You can make certain items, little baskets and a little containers with the help of paper pulp, right? You might be, uh, you, you, don't, you may not know the technique how to make the paper pulp and paper items with the paper pulp. You can ask your grandmother or grandfather. They might be knowing that how to do that. So they will soak the waste paper in water. They will add some methi and they will grind it into a paste and that paste is used to make certain baskets and all. So likewise, we can make use of waste paper and waste metal cans, waste tires, the old uh, cloth, all these can be made into something which is useful. That means we can put it in reuse. Right? So let me give you some ideas over here. Here is a can, a soft drink can. After drinking that, you may throw this can in the trash. Instead, you can cut it and you can use this can as your pen stand or you can put some rubber bands in that. So likewise, you can convert the waste items into useful items. Let us see how to recycle a paper. You can make a handmade paper. I already told you that certain items cannot be thrown in the dust. They can be used to make some useful things. So here if you have paper bits from newspaper, and magazines and old notebooks. So if you have all this paper, you can cut the paper into pieces. So all these paper pieces, they are kept in a tub. Tub with water. So all these paper pieces are kept here in the water. So the paper pieces are allowed to soak for one day. So the paper pieces are soaked very well. Now grind them into paste or pound them into paste. Grind to paste. So you made the paper paste. So what you are going to do with the paper paste? Now you are taking a frame with a mess. You are taking a wooden frame with a mess or a sieve. So on that sieve, you are applying the paste. You are applying the paste. Right? So you are applying and pressing it and keeping this 
in the sun. So what happens? The paste, it will be sticking and it will be made into a layer. So you are applied, you have applied the paste like a layer. So before you apply the paste, you can add some food color, food color or any dried leaves. dried leaves or dried petals dried petals into this paste so the paste can be applied onto the sieve as a layer so here on the frame you have got a layer of paper which is wet so after some time the water will dry up carefully take out the layer with patterns so the layer has got beautiful colors and patterns how it got colors and patterns because you have added some food color dried leaves, dried petals and all. So that layer you kept it on a newspaper, you kept it in the sun. You kept some weights on the corner so by that it get not blown away by the wind. So after some time all the water is absorbed by the newspaper and it is evaporated and it becomes like a thin cardboard, like a chart with colorful patterns. That is all your recycled paper, recycled chart that you have made on your own. So it's a beautiful thing which you can cut into different shapes and you can make any craft item with the handmade paper. So this is how you can make a handmade paper. So with the handmade paper, you can make handmade paper bags to carry the things, to gift something to somebody. You can wrap it around the gift and you can give. So you can do so many things with the paper that you have made on your own. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.